And when the time is right, and there's, there's so many various... You know, we had two options. And we could, you know, go through Quebec, of course, as well, as well as, as doing the maritime route. And or, or you could do the, the simultaneous. And that would be a preferred option as well. So we'll continue to push on the regime side and the regulatory side. But obviously, right now, the maritime route is the preferred option, as in my own personal preference all along. So we continue to discuss with Amira, with New Brunswick Hydro, with the Hydro, with the government. So uh, those are proceeding, and as I said, we I don't know where that place came from, quite frankly. You know, I, and I, I say it and I keep saying it. I mean, you know, even Quebec knows it. This is the cheapest hydroelectric project right now in North America. They're trying to keep a competitive advantage and push us back. Uh, the longer they push us back, then they'll be able to get their more expensive power into the market and hopefully find power for the country in the long term. Uh, but there's absolutely no doubt that Gull and Muskrat are the cheapest. The exact number is you know, in a year's time could be higher. But if it happens to the cost of power at the time we press, then that could go down because we don't cost any more. So it is a moving target. But I, I can assure you, though, that it's the cheapest project. Well, we heard the Premier say that he's committed to a third term, not necessarily a fourth term, but for limb here, maybe not, is that uh, the Premier would uh, be around for a fourth term. Thank you, Glenn. 22 men, part of CPR's Prairie Region Steel Gang, lost their lives back on May 28, 1980, as a result of a fiery crash in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Twelve of the victims were from this province, four of them from the community of Rashoon on the Buren Peninsula. Well, this past Friday, a church service and dedication of a memorial garden for those 22 men took place. And with that story tonight, here's Ross Tilly. Thirty years ago, May 28, 1980, 30 CP railway workers in Swift Current, Saskatchewan, were traveling on a bus back to boarding camp when it was struck first by a car, then plowed into by an 18 wheeler carrying